Tackle junkies. What's going on, fellas? Just getting things set up. Got the cameras ready to roll. Getting the old fish monkey gloves on. Remember, guys, use my code TJ81, fishmonkeygloves.com, save 20%. If you guys want to know why I wear the gloves, I'll link a video down below. We're kind of starting where we left off last time I was here. Got pretty good wind blowing. And uh, we're going to hit them with a spinnerbait, square bill, chatterbait. Let's find some fish. We're starting out with the old spinnerbait, the advantage. Got that Fuego reel on here that you guys have been asking about as well. Been playing around with that. Of course, we'll do a review on that. It's a decent reel. I think I'm, like I may have said in my last video, I would go ahead and upgrade to the Tatula, but if you're on a budget, it's not too bad. A little tip for you guys. So these things just aren't like all scattered everywhere. Take your tip, put it in a hole, feed it in there like that. There you go. Not that big a mess now. What do you think of that? What do you think of them apples? That's why we come here, boys. That's why we come here. That's why we come to this lake right here, man. That's why we come here. I'm on the main hook, advantage spinnerbait. About as big as a blade. That's one. All right. Let's circle back around there. You never know. I'll be another giant hanging in there with him. And big girls usually run in pairs. Oh man, they are biting today on the trailer hook. Got them on the trailer hook. Man, you can go ahead and jump off. I'd appreciate that. You can just jump right off there if you like. All right. Well, I guess we don't have the W. That's, I guess that's something, right? I look at the positive here. And that wind is blowing today. It's at five to 10, that's more like 15 to 20. I'm not convinced yet that they're not gonna eat this spinnerbait. Keep tossing it. Conditions are perfect. They're on shad. They're throwing shad baits. That imitate shad, look like shad. We're in the fall, shad are up shallow. Bass are up shallow. We should be jacking some jaws. Come on. There we go, there we, he wanted a free Pearson. There we go, feels like a better fish. That is a better fish. I'm just waiting if we should swing that one. Whoa. Yes, sir. See that? He heard me. The old advantage. Doing work. Oh. It's the main hook there. Main hook. There we go. Not a bad chunk. I took myself. That's a two, probably. I'll take it. Here we go. All right. You're welcome. Tell your buddies. Free lip piercings. Hey guys, I got a video on how I fish a spinnerbait. Really detailed. 
conditions and how I work it and everything and how I catch big old fish. You ain't that big, you ain't that big, but I'll take you, get up, up in here, get up in here. Shut your face, that's right, fools. I'm freaking jacked today, man. Four fish in like what, half hour? So your main hook got him. Didn't need the old, didn't need the old trailer hook. Oh, easy boy. Not bad. Little keeper. No, he ain't no keeper. Pounder though. All right. That's four on the old advantage. All right, we're looking good here. Looking good. I believe it's called the Gizzard Shad, Double Willow, Silver, doing work. Oh, heck yeah, man. Heck yeah, dude. Stay down, stay down. Oh, this is a drum. That's a drum. We don't want you in here. I'm gonna get the pliers for you. As soon as he hit, I was like, eh, I don't know if that is a bass. Hey, it's a fish though. Oh, looks like the trailer, did the trailer hook get you? Yep, the trailer hook got him. There we go. So that's what, three bass, a bluegill and a drum. That's how we do it. It's not too often I'm just steady reel spinner bait in. You know, deflection is the key really with any bait, trying to get those fish to react to it. Of course, you can just catch them reeling it straight in. But when that bait deflects, whether it be off a twig or lay down something like that, that's what gets bites. So if I don't have anything around me, I'll just twitch that rod, you know, on my own here and get that spinner bait to, uh, you know, flare out in the skirt and the blades bang together and all that. A lot of this I've never hit with a spinner bit before. Normally I come over here to the east side when I'm here later for top water because it's still shaded. But I can't say I've thrown a spinner bait much over here. The further down I have, I got a video where, man, look at that school of shad. I got a video where I dumped a five pounder on the dock. Not sure which video that even is. I think it was an MTV Slam video. If I can find that, I'll link it down below. But uh, other than that, I don't throw a spinnerbait much on this side. But after today, you just never know. Good cast. What we got here? That's something small. Feels like a bluegill. And it is a bluegill. It is a bluegill. You got the trailer hook. Get off there. Get off there. Get off there. A bluegill. I think that first one was a, was that a green sunfish? Could have been, I don't really know. That one. I think we're just a bluegill. So we're catching like what? Five different species? Bass, drum, two different bluegills. Or two different type of panfish or whatever you want to call that. Kind of funny though what the, the drum, drum and both of those, we'll just call them bluegill. All three got the trailer hook. And then the bass all got the main hook. Go figure. I'm sure it's killing some of you guys. I'm not flipping under these docks and stuff. We'll get to that another day. There we go. Is that a bass? Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, heck yeah, man. You went for a ride? You went for a ride? Oh, 
but a spinnerbait, typically hooking pretty good. No need for a net, unless it's a big one. That's a good one. It's better than the the other one I caught, I think. Open your mouth. Oh, 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 oh. Main hook. There we go. The advantage. Nice bass, man. That's over two. Maybe two and a quarter. All right, man. Good deal. Good deal. After that one, we're going to retie. So a lot of people make their mistake. They don't retie. Oh, he's crappie fishing. He's. Little bass. There we go. Nothing big, but it's a fish. It's a little bass. Got him with the main. And we got him with the trailer hook. Little bass. Another one on the old advantage. There we go. Better retie again. I got new cutters in here, I'm gonna show you guys too. This thing is pretty dang slick. Check this thing out, man. That's a little mini snip from CUDA. Super, super sharp. Pretty dang slick. I got the full size. When I seen that little one come out, I had to have it. Just a handy little size. Got another bot, maybe, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes probably to the bridge up there. Like I said, we're not gonna go past that bridge. And then we'll end this video and then we'll go cranking on the, on the west side over there. Come on now, one more. One more would be fantastic. There we go. Ask and you shall receive. Oh, in the boat, in the boat. Hey, yes. oh my gosh. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll take you for a ride, okay, okay. Man, what was that? What was that all about? What was that all about? Anyways, we got one. We got one. All right. That dude was all excited, man. He got in TJ's boat. He didn't know what to do with himself. He didn't know what to do with himself. Well, guys, tell you what, man. I can't complain about that at all. Two, two and a half hours, maybe eight or 10 fish, two keepers for sure, two keeper bass, maybe four or five short bass, a drum and a couple bluegill, all on the Advantage spinnerbait. It's in a 3 8 size. Gizzard shad, double willow, nickel blades. So definitely check those out, guys. I'll link them down below. That is 15 pounds Seaguar Cinchi on a Fuego CT. And we're using the Dobbins, uh, what is this thing? Dobbins Savvy Series. It's got the micro guide. It's an old rod. I've had it for a long time, but it's red and black. It matches the Fuego, so I had to pair them up. You know, <laughs> you know how it is. But guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I was saying earlier, you know, the east side here was set up perfect for spinnerbaits. You know, the wind's blowing, you know, out of the northwest, hitting the east bank. You know, it's pretty much fall here. Shad moved up shallow. The bass are following them. They're on shad. We're throwing the spinnerbaits. I mean, like I said, we got the wind. It's perfect conditions for a spinnerbait. 
So now we're going to head to the west side, okay? Slick calm over there again, because the wind's coming out of the uh, northwest, so it's pretty much blocked all along the bank there. So we're going to hit the west side with a square bill. So stay tuned for the second part of this video, which will be out in a few days or so. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I'll link the uh, gear down below. Smash the thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you guys on the next one.